RMJ movie reviews back again. Back to the traditional on the fly movie reviews. And I'm coming with an on the fly movie review of Hell and High Water or Hell or High Water. I hadn't forgot whether it's and or or. But it stars Chris Pine, Ben Foster, and the extravagant veteran actor Jeff Bridges of Tron fame and Starman fame. Um uh hell or high water hell and high water uh i can forgive me guys um i really like the movie i like the movie um i don't really quite know if i'm in agreement of the people who are like pumping this up and saying it's the greatest thing on earth uh i am of the small number of people where you know like no country for old men i thought it was really good and i thought uh uh what's his name who played the bad guy was extraordinarily creepy and disgusting, but I, I'm not one to hop on the bandwagon to say it was the greatest of all time. It, it was unexpectedly good, but the way it ended, I was just kind of like, what? And I understand these art house movies are, are non-traditional, so they don't give you the the, the beat by beat of, of traditional Hollywood movies. So I understand they're going to be different. But, uh, you know, just because it's different doesn't necessarily mean that it's always great. So, you know, I've been hearing a lot of reviews raving about this movie. I would not go so far as to say it was great, but I will say that I really liked the film. And um, it does have some tense moments. Um, what I really liked about the film is just how, really what I like is the Texas landscape. The way this movie is shot is beautiful. It's got these beautiful landscapes of clouds and, and like kind of characters. And it really sticks with kind of that uh, Western motif of like characters who are just kind of just, you know, and as you can see it on the poster with Ben Foster and Chris Pine walking is a really cool shot. And they use it in all the trailers where like Ben Foster is like got his hand posted on the pole and Chris Pine is like posted on the truck like this. And it's just this beautiful landscape, beautiful, beautiful, beautifully shot film. Um, in the way the actors inhabit their characters, Ben Foster just is, he's extraordinary. He's absolutely extraordinary. Uh, ben Foster, you know, I've been seeing it. Ben Foster is actually, me and him are the same age, you know, and I've been watching this guy since, you know, since he was doing like his smaller movies, since he was the guy in The Punisher that got the shit pulled out of his face. You know, um, I've been watching him for a very long time. And um, this dude is a serious actor, man. I really like Ben Foster. Uh, I, I actually like him more and more. I, I would go so far as to say this dude is definitely of the uh, the uh, Robert De Niro, Christopher Walken breed of actor. I mean, this this dude is serious, man. He he's he's about business, man. He's very good. He's he's definitely in the league of like Jeff Bridges, you know, uh, younger version. Jeff Bridges just gets better and better and better. And Jeff Bridges has always been a spectacular actor since way back when he creeped me out when I saw him in Starman when I was a little kid. That scene in Starman with Nancy Allen walking into the, the uh, living room and he's like growing, that terrified me when I was like five. It, it, it scared me to death. I remember watching that on the Showtime Cable Network. It scared me to death. Digressing a little bit. Um, Chris Pine is really good here. He kind of really inhabits that, you know, just kind of like, you know, he's dealing with the death of his mother. You know, now he's got this brother who's got out of prison. They're gonna, the bank is gonna take, you know, her house and kind of, you know, that's really all this dude has. You know what I mean? He, you know, he took care of his mother, you know, and you can really get a sense, and especially digressing with me being a person who actually works in healthcare. You know, when I saw that bedroom, I mean, I was having flashbacks my own self. Like, damn, man, I know this dude went through it. When you just see the bed, the crutches, I'm just like, damn, this, this dude has been going through it, man, because taking care of a sick person is no joke, man. So it's like, you know, you could tell, man, this this dude, is he's a young cat, but he's been beaten down, you know, and it's just like this house and this land is what he got left, and the banks are, like, getting over on people, and, you know, she got sick. She couldn't take care of her place. So this guy's doing what he's got to do. You sympathize with him, and even Jeff Bridges does to an extent. But um, that's the gist of what you got with the film. This this is a character movie. It's, it's, it's a character art house movie. You know what I mean? So you're strictly in this for the actors inhabiting their characters, which everybody 
everybody from top to bottom does that very well. Uh, I love the interplay between uh, Jeff Bridges and his Native American partner. There's kind of this racist banter that goes on between them. It's really, and the thing about it is, Jeff Bridges, that's his boy. You know what I mean? He's talking trash about Native Americans and Mexicans and all of this, but you can really tell that this is just the way this cat grew up. So he's not like some old, like, neo fascist type of character that has hate in his heart. He's a very warm man, but. That he grew up in Texas, you know? And also what I love is how everybody's got a gun. Like, they go and stick up a bank. This dude is like my great-grandfather, and he goes, sons of bitches, and he just pulls out a gun and starts unloading on him. I'm like, it's hilarious, man. Everybody has a gun. I just think that is just fantastic. Um, but really, that's the purpose of watching this movie. This is a character piece. You're not in it to watch the action. Um, there is suspense in it. Um, it's not as suspenseful as something like Sicario, but still, there's there's some tense moments with, with Chris Pine and police officers. Uh, ben Foster has like one or two tense moments in there. Um, it's a good character flick, you know. So I really say, uh, kind of just the interaction between the characters, the beautiful Texas cinematography, and and the actors just just I mean they these get these cats aren't acting. They are in the moment. They are being. They have become this people. I mean, like, when I watch this movie, Ben Foster is this dude. As a matter of fact, he just so reminds me of, like, uh, like a southern Texas type of white dude that, like, I've seen, like, when I went down there. You know, where I've been to southern parts of, of the United States, man. He really looks like a good old boy. I mean, Ben Foster is just... I'm raving about Ben Foster. I know he's played this kind of you know, um, off kilter, uh, off the cuff type of, you know, Joe Pesci is kind of character, but, uh, he, he, he's really just fantastic, man. As a matter of fact, I was really mesmerized most by Ben Foster in this film and in his portrayal of the character. And yeah, Jeff Bridges is funny. He does his thing. It's, it's, um, it's, it's a good movie. I really, I really enjoyed it. Now, I, I mean, I've been hearing YouTube reviews talking about it. I'm going to watch it again. I'm going to own it. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's all that. But I, nevertheless, uh, I recommend the picture to uh, people who are interested in character films and art house movies. You know, people who go to like the smaller theaters to go see movies that like aren't for regular mainstream audiences. So um, this is definitely no country for old man territory. Um, doesn't have as many killings or as grisly as that film. But but I will say the way the actors inhabit the characters in the Texas landscape is is absolutely phenomenal in this film um of course like no country for old man it it ends on a unexpected offbeat kind of way it doesn't end with a gun battle it, it it ends about how these type of movies end so you know with the director i could hear the director on the commentary saying well you know uh if it, if it was a hollywood movie we would have had a gunfight but i i felt uh this was more of uh, character driven piece it was character driven and it's about the characters and it's it's more about their behavior than ending with violence where you sympathize with the killer you know the directors talk like that when they get all like prudish about their work and hollywood versus art and independent and blah 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 whatever it was a good movie i really liked it people who like independent small art house character movies should like it too so i highly recommend this movie to that type of audience not for mainstream viewers but for the art house crowd so that's my review of uh, Hell or High Water. Uh, thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel. You all know the rest. And leave comments down below about Hell or High Water, uh, Ben Foster's excellent performance, Jeff Bridges' excellent performance, uh, Chris Pine, uh, and who's a great actor, his great performance. Oh, one side note. I just have to put this in. There's a really hot actress in this movie who's in the diner talking to Ben Foster. I mean, she's a little bit chunky, but, man, this chick is, like, hot, man. The one who Jeff Bridges takes the, the tips from, I mean, I was like, damn, she is nice, man. You know, just had to throw that in because I meant to put that in my review. So, RMJ Movie Reviews, whoo, smoking. I'll see you later.